This SciShow Space video is sponsored by MyHeritage, a platform to help you discover your family history and origins. Click the link in the description for a 14-day free trial of MyHeritage, with a 50% discount for those who choose to continue the subscription. It's like a scene out of Romeo and Juliet. Two planets, both alike in gravity, in the Milky Way where we lay our scene. Their skies obscure their metallicity, but through study their formation can be gleaned. Our protagonists are planets Wasp-67b and Hat-P-38b. They are two gas giants orbiting different stars on opposite ends of the galaxy. You could call them, quite literally, Star-crossed. Looking at their mass, the stars they orbit, and their orbital distance from their stars, WASP-67b and HAT-P-38b seem so alike. But when astronomers compared these two planets in a 2018 study published in the Astronomical Journal, they found very different atmospheres. One has clouds, where the other seems to have clear skies. And understanding more about the clouds on these two exoplanets does two things. First, it reveals that two planets that exist under the same conditions can grow up very differently. Differently. Second, it tells us more about the range of possible atmospheres an exoplanet can have. That's useful because we are just at the beginning of understanding atmospheres other than our own. Let's start, though, with what the planets share. They are similar masses, both between a quarter and a half as heavy as Jupiter. They're also similar sizes, each roughly the diameter of Jupiter. Their balance of size and mass means that they both have similar gravity, about the same as Earth, actually. And because they orbit similar stars at almost exactly the same distance, their insulation, or how much energy they get from their star is almost exactly the same. If that's all you knew about these planets, you would assume that they had the same atmospheres. That's because the prevailing wisdom was that the two main drivers of a gas giant's cloudiness are its temperature and its gravity. And studying exoplanet atmospheres is hard. If finding an exoplanet is like spotting a fly next to a headlight 100 kilometers away, then studying its atmosphere is like asking what color the wings are. To do that, astronomers look for the moment a planet passes in front of its star. That's when some of the light that reaches us is filtered through the planet's atmosphere. The filtered light will be missing certain colors, which are absorbed by compounds in the planet's atmosphere. That filtered light is referred to as a transmission spectrum. And by looking at what's missing, you can work out what compounds block it. It's hard enough to build telescopes that can reliably measure this spectrum, without having to also deal with the fact that not all atmospheres are perfectly uniform and clear. Clouds scatter the light, obscuring the faint signals of what chemicals are floating around. When astronomers look at WASP-67b, they don't see a lot of water in its atmosphere. And they find that clouds best explain its absence. It's not necessarily that the clouds are made of water, though they could be. It's that the clouds, whether they are water, methane, ammonia, or something else, scatter the light. Light. But when they look at Hat P38b, they see water, consistent with clear skies. The other oddity they find is that Hat P38b should be more metallic than it appears to be. Now, when we say metallic, we have to note that to an astronomer, any element past helium on the periodic table is a metal. So really, that means that the slightly smaller Hat P38b should have more elements like oxygen, nitrogen, and sodium than we observe. Now that astronomers have figured out that these two star-crossed planets are different, all that remains is to figure out why. And there are really two options. It's either nature or nurture. Either they were formed under different conditions, meaning the amount and type of material available in the early stellar environment was different, or one or both of them had something happen to them along the way. Gas giant planets are thought to form far away from their stars, but these two have orbits tighter than that of Mercury around our Sun. So maybe as these planets fell toward their stars, they collided with dust, debris, or small planets that changed their composition. This is exciting in a way, because we just don't know. But paired Studies like this, just like twin studies in human biology, are especially useful because they narrow down the variables. We still don't know what happened to make the atmospheres of two twin planets different, but the fact that they are different means that our models need updating. It turns out an atmosphere's fate isn't sealed with a given gravity and temperature. Further study from telescopes like the Webb will allow astronomers to refine the models even further to find what other factors can predict a planet's atmosphere. And the nature versus nurture debate uh, extends beyond our solar system. And if you're curious about how nature and nurture have played out in your own life, you might be interested in looking into your genealogy. So thanks to MyHeritage for providing tools that make that process easy and for supporting this SciShow Space video. MyHeritage is a DNA and family history service. If you don't know your relatives, MyHeritage has powerful tools to search historical records and discover who they are. And if you do know who you'd like to put in a family tree, MyHeritage has AI technology to enhance, restore, and color 
colorize their photos. My Heritage can even animate your great grandma's face and mouth as if she were telling you the story of your family. Click the link in the description for a 14 day free trial of My Heritage with a 50% discount for those who choose to continue the subscription.